The Ten Commandments as a Loving Home, 24th Sunday of Ordinary Time, Year C. Today's Gospel passage contains a parable that has been named in a variety of ways, including the parable of the prodigal son, the parable of the good father, and the parable of the two brothers. The last title by Pierre Grelot focuses our attention on comparing the two brothers in the parable. In commenting on this parable as the parable of the two brothers, a noted theologian explains how the two brothers relate to freedom. The first brother, the younger of the two, wanted to be free from his father's home. He wanted to be free from the laws of his father's home. The younger brother wanted to experience absolute independence, freedom from any even relationships with his family, freedom to do whatever he wanted whenever he wanted. He then left home with his inheritance and tried to enjoy life, tried to be happy by living without any reference to law and without any reference to stable relationships, any reference to structure. He wanted to define freedom in a completely individualistic manner as freedom to do whatever he wants as long as it feels good without a care about the future or other people and their desire also to be free. This experience of individualistic freedom did not last long, for after quickly spending all his money, the younger brother became hungry and wanted to return home. He wanted to return home where he could experience another type of freedom, a freedom that is not individualistic, a freedom that is not do what I want on the spur of the moment without thinking about consequences of our actions. Hungry and feeling alone, the younger brother wanted to experience a freedom which the theologian identifies as shared freedom. Shared freedom since those sharing the freedom can relate to another and mutually support one another since they agree to live in a house that is structured by the Ten Commandments given to us by God the Father, our Heavenly Father. Only in this house, only in the structure and laws this house provides can we truly experience freedom that we are created for, since we are created to be social creatures, to be relational creatures. We are relational creatures, social creatures, because we are created in the image and likeness of God who is relational, because God is triune, a trinity of persons. Shifting our attention to the second brother, the theologian astutely observes that although the second brother obeys his father, obeys the laws of his father's house, he was not truly free, since the older brother secretly desired the freedom his younger brother experienced when his younger brother left home and lived a lawless life, a freedom that was individualistic. When his brother returned, the older brother angrily resented his father's merciful treatment of the younger brother, since the older brother did not understand freedom as a relational reality, as a shared reality. Rather, he only understood freedom, as his younger brother once did as well, as autonomous freedom, as individualistic freedom, and consequently also wanted to experience freedom in a non-rational manner, in a non-relational manner, in a totally autonomous manner. But in this desire, he only demonstrated to his father that although he lived in the structure of his family's home, in the structure that the Ten Commandments provides, he did not grasp true freedom is the only freedom that will ultimately bring us happiness. Today, may we see the observance of the Ten Commandments as providing the structure of the Heavenly Father's home we are created to live in. Only by remaining in this home will we experience true freedom, which is freedom that is participated in, which is freedom that others share in, which is social freedom, which is freedom that only can be shared if we commit commandments. When we experience difficulty and even failure in living up to the requirement of the Ten Commandments, when we are tempted to run away from the home created by us by God to experience another kind of freedom that will always end up in disappointment, always end up in frustration. May we respond by, by relying on the new law given to us through Jesus Christ, the new law that does not replace the Ten Commandments, 
but allows us to live the Ten Commandments in a joyful way, where we see the Ten Commandments as the way to be social, relational. This new law, as the Catechism the Catholic Church teaches, is the grace of the Holy Spirit. God bless.